you just got your uh I guess what is it at this point? Your invitation, your, to, your invitation purchase. to purchase is that what you would call yeah. it? Yeah. So when the the, the Steam Deck uh, when it came out, we put it up as the image yeah. for today because of this. I don't um, know if you can see it on the camera. Can you see it on that one? <laughs> Andy's like, <laughs> Andy's like, yeah, not uh, really. It's, it's cut kind of there. <laughs> um, I, I was thinking like we might reuse that uh, featured image for sure for the podcast oh, yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah. If we end up talking about this for a little yeah. while, but just add a little uh, like a little cart symbol next to it. Yeah, purchased. <laughs> Look, hang a little tag off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Steam Deck. When did when did it? When was it a thing? Months and months. It's been ago. quite yeah. a while. Um, yep. I'm actually going to pull this up just because I want to get roughly, June of 2021. Okay, you got it. So June. Gosh, I don't. I, know. Was gonna, I don't know. That's oh, totally I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Wow, he pulled that up fast. One hundred percent. Gabe's gonna just start making. Claims I mean, on the podcast. We've got stuff July. around it. July, July. of twenty. Okay. Yeah, twenty twenty one. So, so yeah, that's still wow. He's pretty close. Um, so July, you know, the Steam Deck uh, got announced and it was hyped. And I was actually, I went ahead the first day, order pre order whatever went up. You had to put down five reservations. Bucks. Yeah, you had yeah. to put down five bucks to claim a reservation. So I was like, yeah. I mean, who knows? And it was supposed to be out by December. Yeah. And in my head, it was going to be Christmas gift maybe for my daughter. So she's she's into gaming. She's back and forth. She's like, maybe I should get an Xbox or maybe I should, you know, maybe I should get a PC. And then, you know, she plays on the Switch all the time and and she'll use my uh, GeForce Now account. Yeah. They'll play on Stadia. And so she's just kind of been back and forth. And I was like, this would be a really cool, if it works the way it's supposed to, this would be a really cool gift for her because it's, it's a PC, you know, yeah. like it, it's a full blown PC that yeah. you, just in your hands. And so even if it was like, hey, I'll play mobily for a while, if I got her a, a little desk and you know a, a monitor and stuff and she can drop it in the dock and she can play kind of at a desk too uh that was my initial idea and then when it got delayed it was like oh uh, well i kind of i didn't forget about it but it was just like yeah to me now the steam deck is yeah about what they're going to do that's going to make it better for steam games on chromebooks right. but that was all in the works too at the time so the whole thing just in my mind kind of got yeah, pushed off. It's a like bit. it'll happen when it happens, and yeah, whatever. Who knows when it'll show up? Maybe yeah. there'll be a Steam Deck two that we can really. really the, when get it, what did you say uh, the other day? The uh, that, I think that's where I got June from. You are talking about the pr the pre orders? Yeah, you're like yeah. they're on week one. I or think something. that 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 was like subliminally planted in my head. I saw an article that said that they were. They said that they were just now working through the first week of reservations to I, send I was out, like so, yeah. I was like well I was in that but I mean if they're still working through that since the time it started because it, it's been Cause the majority of them probably happened right then like, it's been yeah. going out for what a month now or something yeah I think available so. but this is an interesting device um, because of what's happening in the background and how it does yeah. apply to what is happening on uh, Chrome OS with with Borealis and, and Steam yeah so like you know, Gabe, I think, had just turned Steam back on on this uh, CX-9. It's For right now, it's the only device we have in the office that we can use uh, Borealis on. Yeah. Um, it's only the Voltier board, right? And there's yes, not and even... it has to be a fanned Voltier board because right. we have the CX-5400. There's, there's only, there's only is, five on the Oh, yeah. Five right. or six, yeah. But it's a i5, but it's not fanned. And we tried it, and it specifically says this hardware is not supported because it yep. does a hardware check when you do that. So. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's only a specific device. It's only a few. And th obviously, you know, uh, we, we talked about that in the video that we put out this week. Just yep walking through basically we realized we've shown this we've shown borealis and we in the initial like news that it's available in alpha you know gabe put the steps in there i literally copied those steps in yeah. the video like that's what i was going off of uh so it's not like we didn't have the information out there but we hadn't packaged it in a clean like if someone's looking for how to do this yeah. here it is yeah go um, follow these steps you know we're learning the worth and the value of having that stuff out there on the internet at this point now like even if we talk about how to do something in some other post that's obscured by the title and everything, it's worth having another post that's just that thing that's more evergreen so people can come yeah. find it. And, yeah. and it just it's helpful. It's easier if they search in the search bar, exactly. like how to do this. Boom, here it is. Uh, and then there's our YouTube audience that um, if you're watching this here, uh, if you happen to be watching this and you don't realize we have a YouTube channel, that's kind of where all of this started. Um, yep. Chrome Unboxed. Uh, or youtube.com forward slash chrome and box is the youtube channel and a lot of people that watch those videos never go, either don't know about the website or just don't don't frequent yeah, our just, website they're just not readers of that sort of or consuming consuming that sort of content they get their information from youtube but yeah so that video is up and and it kind of walks you through the process of getting steam going on this but 
the real story behind all of this and what connects this to that is the fact that both of these devices are running Steam in, in a Linux environment. Is that right. Fair yeah. So, uh, to say? yeah. So, they're both the, the Steam Deck is built off of Arch Linux. So, it's not Steam OS. That was kind of a separate thing, but it's. It's Steam that's built on Arch Linux. And then the container, and I did not know this, we didn't know this until just recently when they actually f- officially announced this, it's running an Arch Linux container. So the container... Oh, on Chrome OS. Yeah, so the oh, okay. Steam that's running on Chrome OS is built on Arch Linux, not Debian like the Crostini <laughs> container. So they are, while there's a lot of similarities on how they applied a lot of the stuff, they are two separate, completely separate entities. Hmm. Matter of fact, you don't even have to have Crostini turned on to have Steam up and running. Oh, interesting. Just yeah. because, I know, again, I'm, I'm trying to be cognizant of the fact that there's probably a lot of people watching that, again, don't read the site and probably haven't watched videos. Yeah. Can you explain Crostini, uh, what that is, and then what Debian and Arch Linux okay. mean? Yeah, so Crostini is the Linux environment on Chrome OS. It's been out for a couple of years now. It's been out of beta for a little less than a year. It's just the ability to enable a container. So it's, it's just... Con- look at it like a box that's on your operating system that another operating system is running inside of. There's some virtualization going on. There's a container technology. It's uh, it's able to use the bare metal hardware of your device, but it's still sandboxed, which means safe and separate from Chrome OS. So it's completely mm. secure. They, uh, they can communicate with each other, but they are separate from each other. So the container that runs Linux... Uh, is Debian, which is Linux um, Debian Buster? Buster, yeah. yeah, Buster, it yeah. So it's Buster. Debian 11. Debian's one of, uh, a popular Linux distribution. Arch is uh, also a very popular one. It's a little bit more for... Uh, a lot of people will joke and say Debian is like... Uh, is like the Lego or whatever. I, think, I can't think that's what Luke said. It's like the Lego of Linux because it's, it's just... I don't want to say it's super simple, but it's super simple to use. It's really user friendly. Arch Linux lends itself more towards developers. You know, mm-hmm. you have to know your way around the terminal and things like that. Um, so Arch Linux is what Steam is built on. The Steam Deck is running on, and it's what the container is running on in um, Steam on Chrome OS. So. Which is interesting because you said that the other day, and I don't think I'd put together that that was running Arch Linux. Yes. So, um, and again, Linux is the kernel and then you have these <coughs> these different distributions mm-hmm. that are these different like flavors of Linux basically yeah. and then you even have desktop environments um, that that are different so you can have a different desktop environment on top of a different distribution uh, most people are probably most familiar with like Ubuntu or Ubuntu or however you pronounce it uh, that was the most popular one for a long time it's the only one I knew about yeah or even had yeah ever and anyone about, most of the known. people that ever used um, um, Crouton, probably, you know, familiar yeah. with uh, What was, was the other? There was another one that a lot of people were si- uh, dual booting with their Chromebooks. Um, Gallium. Gallium. But there was one that started, it was a specific version of Linux that started with an L. Um, I don't know. I have to think of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there, there are so many, so many different Linux distributions. We've done some videos on how to install certain types of uh, desktop environments because that's one of the cool things about Linux. It's, it's, it's not necessarily developer focused, but it's so flexible that general consumers don't won't won't like it because it's not cut and dry. Right, you do kind of have to, but I think that's one of the reasons why I like it so much because it reminds me of the old days of like Palm uh, Web OS, where you can right. kind of customize everything about your phone. I mean, you can have you could be running Ubuntu, you know, twenty. But your desktop and all of your applications and stuff could be completely different than someone else running the same version of Ubuntu yeah. because you're using a different desktop environment and this and different uh, yeah, it's, file it's explorers wild. and all the package managers and all that. It's it's really cool to me. But uh, that's one of those things that there's a there's a learning curve there, you know. And and so that everybody's clear too. Like Chrome OS is. Uh, Technically speaking, a Linux distribution. It's very custom, very uh, Chrome OS itself is closed down. We talk about Chromium OS being open source, but Chrome OS, once Google puts its stamp of approval mm-hmm. on it, is is a closed right. uh, ecosystem. And so, um, you know, you've got technically Chrome OS is is a Linux distribution per se. Yeah. Um, 
and I, it's it's very to say that's very technical. It's not like other Linux distributions, um, but because of that, it's running on the Linux kernel, and that also makes all of what we're talking about way yeah. easier to happen here. It's not not some so it's uh, Chrome, wild offshoot. Chrome OS is it still built off of Gen two? Is that right? I don't know. But but, but but the cool part is now you're talking, I, until you said this in here, it's not just they're all running Linux yeah. it's at the kernel level. They're now these, these game parts, the Steam parts are running Arch Linux. They're running the same distribution of Linux. So that even doubles up the fact that anything that happens good with this device, this, this Steam Deck thing, anything that happens good is going to mean good things happen for Chrome OS as well. And, and it... You know, the we, Steam on Chrome. OS, yeah, we've talked about like the the announcement and how it. You know, it's taken a while for these to 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 start shipping, and obviously, I'm sure they're still dealing with a lot of uh, production issues because of the pandemic. Um, but as more and more people get them in hand and start actually playing games and everything, there'll be more and more data that they'll be able to, oh, yeah. to yeah, use. Yeah, more and, bugs and will get worked exactly, out. Exactly, and yeah. that's and that's the beautiful thing about it with them being built in a similar similar fashion on top of Arch Linux. Any updates to the Linux kernel? Kernel. 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 Spell <laughs> that one. Spell that one, Andrew. It's, 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 the a, kernicle. it's a kernel chronicle. <laughs> the kernel. Portal kernel. Yeah. Kernel. <laughs> yeah. Any updates to the Linux kernel that pertain directly to Arch Linux and Steam and and all of that will will all. It'll all make its way to this right. because uh, um, we haven't written this up yet, but the Chrome OS dev website, they have started, they published an article, not a not a kernicle, an uh-huh. article. Article. Uh, chronicle. It was chronicle. last chronicle. week, and it was the first of what's supposed to be an ongoing blog series about how they have developed Steam on Chrome OS. Uh, but they clearly said that this container is going to update yeah. independently of Chrome OS and independently so of cool. everything else. So... Any time that there's something updated with Arch Linux or Steam or whatever, they can push it immediately to the container. And I don't Which even awesome. know. That, so, yeah, I don't think it's going to require anything on. It'll probably just be an update to the Steam package that's running on there. So, so. you won't yeah, have to. Every time you launch Steam, it checks. Yeah, it extracts so it's and it checks for updates. Yep. That would be my guess. Um, and so, like, we, we kind of have circled around this already, but we haven't necessarily said it. The, the key to all of this being any of any worth at all to anybody trying it is this compatibility layer. And we've talked about it on this podcast before, but with this, you know, going to be in the office, hopefully in a few days, uh, and steam on Chrome OS, having a video out about that, it's worth talking about this probably at least for a couple minutes again. And that's this, this thing called proton that, that steam has been working on for years, five years, at least at this point. I remember when they first announced it and we were still running steam and Crouton, which is this like side loaded, weird bracketed on Linux thing that you could yeah. do with Chromebooks. I mean, I was using it way it's back essentially when. Essentially running an extension inside of Chromebooks. <laughs> it's, just weird. Yeah, it's really weird. But it was well done. Like they yeah. figured it out pretty yeah. well by the end. And uh, back when I had decided I'm, I'm going to work from a Chromebook regardless, I'm going to make this work. <clears throat> I needed Crouton at that time because it Inkscape, allowed me to get you know? Inkscape yeah. working, which allowed me that. to do my job. And so. Uh, it was good enough to get that done at the time. And so, you know, Linux on Chromebooks has been a thing that people have been messing with for a long time. Well, in the same time, you know, you've got Steam now going, okay, clearly Linux gaming is not going to take off because they are, because of all that customization, all those distributions, all the options and optimizations and all that stuff yeah. that Linux has, it's so widespread. Like it's too dispersed. Yeah, there's yeah. no. it's not like Android where there's a parent OS. There's no parent Linux distribution. There's Linux, the Linux kernel, but then there's, I mean, there are hundreds. In a hundred different ways. Yeah, I've tried installing so many different, but, but I think to Robbie's point here is that you said you can't see this. What I'm pointing at right <laughs> no, now? Okay. No, it's anyway. it's probably cut off right in the middle. It's a if picture. I had to guess. <laughs> it's a picture of the Steam Deck. Yeah, okay? it's <laughs> huge. It's right there. Yeah, Zo- zoom it in and pull it down, there Robbie. So, there you go. So <laughs> we're just gonna keep pointing at it, and everyone, <laughs> everyone's gonna be like, Valve we can't has see it. hinged the success of this there device. We go. Perfect. <laughs> on yeah, perfect. They've hinged the success of this device on. Windows games, PC games, running properly on a Linux handheld right. and that, PC. That.